uh, you know, when, when August second comes around, um, you know, we'll, we'll see what the training, the trainers, and, and the coaches have to say. But you know, it'll probably be a gradual, you know, build up. You know, I don't have to just start right in the fire and say, all right, let's do some Oklahoma's or something. You know, <laughs> but uh, best believe uh, we start on uh, August second by September second. I'll be ready to rock and roll. I've been up to a lot, man. You know, I've been working really hard, working really hard, getting back. I'm finally back, you know. You know, my close to 100%, heck yeah, I feel like I'm about 98, you know. I need that last 2% that's going to come in camp, but I'm feeling great. I say I have 2% left. And yeah, what is that la- What is that last 2% consist of? You know, it's really just getting out there and putting the pads on, putting the helmet on, feeling some contact. You know, I'll say that's the last 2%, but other than that, you know, I'm feeling stronger than ever, man. You know, stronger than ever, you know, I bulked up a little bit, but you know, it's that it's that good weight. Um, feeling fast, faster than ever. You know, it's the old Blake plus some, you know, that's what everyone's gonna get back, you know, the old Blake plus some. And so like I said, the last two percent is just gonna come throughout that camp, you know, just the feeling of, you know, the pads and the, and the way to move and things like that. But other than that, man, I've been working my butt off just trying to get back to better than ever. And uh, I'm there, you know, and I'm just, you know, every time, I drive past the big house now, you know, they've, they've done a lot of, you know, bigger scoreboards, you know, more lights. I just envision like, you know, scoring that first touchdown on September 2nd. But, um, you know, that last 2% is going to come on August 2nd when the camp starts. I had my first camp in Michigan. You know, I, I told you guys I had a big camp back home in Virginia, been doing that for two years. But everyone kept hitting me up, hey, Blake, you know, when you, you ever gonna have a camp in Michigan? You ever gonna have a camp in Michigan? And I started thinking, I'm like, you know what? I'm gonna have one. And so uh, we, we we did it big. You know, we were down at uh, Catholic Central. You know, they, they allowed us to use their beautiful facility. There were so many people out there that just helped out with this camp. It was amazing, you know, free camp. You know, we had moon bounces out there, bounce houses, you know, food. Uh, and obviously we had some great football. You know, it was a great turnout, maybe like around 250 kids. Um, all came out and competed, you know, one-on-ones. We did seven-on-seven, uh, individual drills. It, it was a great time, uh, we even conditioned. But, uh, you know, that's what I've been up to, you know. On, on that side, I actually have a camp coming up this weekend in Grand Rapids. Um, it, it, it's packed out, it's sold out. You know, it's always great to give back. So that's kind of what I've been up to on the football side. Uh, you know, I've been up to some business moves as well. You know, my first uh, house, uh, that I bought a couple months ago with my dad. Um, it just hit the market. So, uh, you know, we're flipping houses now, you know, I'm in the real estate and stuff like that. So, you know, now I'm just trying to find that next move um, and eventually build an empire. You know, what motivates me to be that, like, entrepreneur um, is really like, you know, just growing up and seeing my dad and my mom, you know, start a business from nothing and turning it into something. You know, and that's why I'm doing business with my dad. And I'm also doing some business with, with other people as well. But, you know, my dad was in the real estate um, for, for quite a while, you know, just watching him and through ups and downs. You know, real estate can be good. It also can be bad at times, you know. It's really just so learning. You know, I'm learning from like a, a bunch of, you know, uh, alumni. You know, I go to one of the greatest universities, in my opinion, the greatest university in the world. You know, and so, you know, you just try to reach out and learn from, you know, the people that are doing it. And that's what I'm doing, you know, just trying to be a sponge and soak everything up from from these uh, these alumni that are, you know, are in the game and, and super successful. And then just, you know, put it in my toolbox, take it back, you know, and, and build my own. All right, y'all, that's all I got for today. Appreciate y'all for watching episode three. Next time I check in, we'll be at Coach Harbaugh's golf time. See y'all.